Hi everyone, Ben Coomber TV. Now let's talk about the 80-20 rule, a really popular thing to talk about in the health world, the fitness industry, that if you eat good 80% of the time, the 20% of the time is okay. Now, while that could be a fairly good rule to follow, how do we start to quantify the 20% of bad? Because what we're kind of looking at now, really, when people think in its simplest terms about the good and the bad is probably real, one ingredient, quote unquote, clean foods like meat, fruit, nuts, seeds, veg, you know, real food, and bad food being processed food, maybe very highly calorific food. Now, the art of being flexible with your diet is knowing really what's in your food. If you want to live in a non what we might describe as a non-optimal environment where 20% of your food intake is non-optimal, then you need to know what's in your food. It's no, there's no point having the mantra in your head that if you eat good 80% of the time and the 20% of your flexible or bad part of your diet is part of your diet that you aren't aware of on your intake. So if you go out on a Friday night and have a huge big meal and it's highly caloric, it has tons of fat, tons of carbs, you know, loads of potential additives and you do the same on a Saturday and you do the same on a Sunday and mentally you see that as 20% of your food intake which looking at meal sittings might be, the actual overall caloric load starts to become way more than actually 20% because you're not aware of what's going in your mouth. So don't get me wrong, if you're wanting really good results, the more you can get to an optimal kind of intake, you're going to feel better and probably perform better. But if you want to be a bit more flexible, you can. And it's an approach that many people have called if it fits your macros. But the art and the science of this is you knowing what's in your food. So if you want to be flexible with your diet and you want to have a bit of 20% bad foods, know what's in your food. Know what's in a portion of chips. Know what's in a burger. Know what's in a pizza. Know what's in um, a cake because otherwise you can't control your intake. And when you know what's in your food, you can start to say, well, ah, there's that many calories in that, or there's that amount of carbohydrates in that. I'll just eat a bit less during the day and have that in the evening. So allowing yourself to be flexible, you need to know what's in your food. So get educated, understand the calorie amounts in food, and start to become a little bit more flexible. But don't blindly have that rule and think it's gonna work for you. Hi everyone, Ben Coomber TV. So I want to talk about optimal energy production, which is really optimal performance. So how well you feel or how high performing you feel the energy that you've got from the food that you eat. 